Hello students, you are welcome to Newton Physics channel. Today we like to discuss about the frictional force and frictional coefficient. When a body is rotating along a dark inclined plane, let a body is at a height h. Mass of the body A, radius R, in angle of inclination theta. When a body is at rate A, potential energy MGH. Now the body is rotating along this and moving along this direction. When it reaches here, that means C point, total energy will be kinetic energy. So kinetic energy due to rotation and motion half by omega square and kinetic energy due to linear motion half mv square. We can calculate or we can replace i equal to mk square. Omega square can be replaced by v square by r square half mv square. Here omega equal to v by r but a body is moving or in combined motion along the inclined plane for rolling motion we know v equal to r omega therefore omega square equal to v square by r square then half mv square equal to k square by r square plus 1 this is number 1 equation now v square equal to v square plus 2as. Here initial velocity 0, acceleration 1 to calculate h by sin theta equal to s. So putting this value in equation 1, we can get the value of acceleration of the body. mz equal to half a v square equal to 2a h by sin theta multiplied by k square by r square plus 1. From this, a equal to g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square. This is equation number 2. From this equation, we can calculate the acceleration for any body when it is rotating and moving along an rough inclined plane. k square is the radius of gyration of the body. We can take an example. Let a ring rotating and moving along this inclined plane, then what will be the acceleration of this ring? We know for ring, k square equal to r square for ring, k square equal to r square, then the acceleration of the body will be g sin theta by 1 plus r square by r square. So g sin theta by 2. This is the acceleration of a ring. This is a very important equation. And from this equation, equation we can calculate the frictional force and frictional coefficient for a body which is moving and a rough inclined plane. Now, let us now calculate the frictional force. When a body is moving along this direction, along a rough inclined plane, in G sin theta force is acting along the inclined force, inclined plane and frictional force in opposite direction. So equation of motion of the body will be mg sin theta minus a equal to a main, where a equal to g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square. From this equation, we can calculate the frictional force f equal to f equal to mg sin theta multiplied by k square by r square plus k square. This is the equation from which we can get the value of frictional force along a rough inclined plane. Now, take, let us take an example. Let a solid sphere is rotating along this plane and moving along this rough inclined plane. Then what will be the frictional force for a solid sphere? We know for a solid sphere, a square equal to for a solid sphere for a solid sphere k 
a square equal to 2 by 5 a square. Now put this value of a square in this equation, then we can get the value of frictional force for solid sphere. So F equal to mz sine theta multiplied by 2 by 5 r square by r square plus 2 by 5 r square. Then the result will be 5 by 7 mg sine theta. So from this equation, we can get the frictional force for green dicks, solid sphere, hollow sphere, hollow cylinder, solid cylinder. Now we want to calculate the frictional coefficient for these bodies. We know for an inclined plane, the frictional force F equal to mu mg cos theta. Mu mg cos theta. Again, we know frictional force equal to from this equation mg sin theta multiplied by k square by r square plus k square. So, this equation equal, so we can get the value of mu by equating this. So, mg sin theta into k square by r square plus k square. So, mu equal to tan theta multiplied by k square by r square plus k square. This is a very good equation. Another equation, mg sin theta, mg sin theta multiplied by k square by r square. This is a very good equation for these bodies, cylinder, bricks or like these bodies, we can calculate the frictional coefficient. So, so students, when a body is moving along this inclined rough inclined plane, first know the acceleration of the body. A equal to g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square, when k square is the radius of gyration. When a body is in combined motion, we know radius of gyration we can calculate by using i equal to mk square, comparing this equation i equal to for this body, for cylinder, or for this, or for any other bodies like this, then we can get the value of A. Then we can get the equation of frictional force. In G sin theta force is acting along the inclined plane and in opposite direction there is frictional force. So equation of motion can be set. From this equation of motion, we can get the value of frictional force. Then we can also get the frictional coefficient from this equation by using this equation. So students, this will help immensely to calculate frictional force and friction in any examination. If this helps you, then you will comment on this channel. Thank you everybody.